back guys to another behind the scenes episode. We are in Lahti today, kind of a mecca in ski jumping and Nordic uh, winter sports. And today we have the pleasure and the honor to follow the FIS race director, Dr. Walter Hofer. He will explain us all the details that come along on a ski jumping competition day. Have fun following the race director. We are at the team captain's meeting. Uh, this is the first gathering for all the coaches and uh, participating nations to get the latest information about the upcoming weekend. Here we are at the jury room uh, located in a judge's tower or a jury tower where those officials who run the competition are located. Here we have the technical delegate who is the head of the complete organization here. Then uh, Borek, he is also the starter and giving the green line for the athletes, taking care of safety, equality and, and fairness. This is a device where we see the conditions, the circumstances around the landing area. You see these arrows show the wind speed and the wind direction and this everything is based on the so-called data service which is located one floor down which we will see very soon this is the so-called video distance measuring where we cover the landing slope the landing area with four cameras and when an athlete starts at the starting bar uh, video coverage takes place and uh, you see that there are four sections covered by four cameras and these cameras are mounted in a gradient of the landing slope so so that you see four flat parts and when an athlete is flying through these sectors and uh, where he lands this picture is brought to the screen and then the operator can adjust with a tool, with a joystick, the landing phase. We are in one of the judges booths, five judges here. All of them make their scores independently and then the highest and the lowest score is deleted and the middle part, the three charges are counted together. This is one part of the score an athlete can achieve. We are at one of the most impressive in-run towers in our World Cup circuit. And you see this flag down there, this is where all the athletes, coaches, officials look at it all day long in order to wait for the right conditions to jump on this very exposed jumping hill. Um, you see, when you look around, it's very flat here. So any air streaming is affecting our competition here. That's why we have also a wind net protection here on that facility. We are in the middle of the scenery of a ski jump performance. Over there you see the coaches who are releasing their athletes from the top. And um, the takeoff is uh, the most uh, important part in the performance of ski jumping because everything depends on this um, condition you realize here at the takeoff. And you can see there is an artificial in-run track. The running surface is poorly ice, but this running surface has a profile. The last six, seven meters are used by the athletes for this takeoff movement. And when they have a speed of around 90 km per hour, they have for the last six meters approximately 150 milliseconds to realize this takeoff movement. <laughs> 